Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to multiply and divide decimals by 10, 100,000 and so on, by powers of 10 basically. And you should already know that when we multiply whole numbers by 100 or 10 or 1000, there's a shortcut, which is that you just take the number and then tag the zeros after it. So you write 245 then you write two zeros after it, okay? And that's the answer. Or if you multiply a number by thousand, then you write the number, and after it, write however many zeros are here, three zeros this time. There's a similar shortcut for decimals, when you multiply decimals by ten, or hundred, or thousand, and so on. And that has to do with moving the decimal point. I'll tell you the rule first. Basically, however many zeros are here, that's how many steps you move the decimal point. And you know that the number will be bigger. If you multiply by 10, this number has to get bigger, not smaller. So that tells you which direction to move the decimal point, right? It has to move this way. If you move it one step, this number becomes 8.9. It became bigger, okay? So you move it to the, to the right. Over here, 100 times 6 thousandths. I move my decimal point two steps now over here, so the number becomes 0 0.6, 6 tenths. Here, I will move my point two steps, right? Because there's two zeros here. Over here, and then another step. But look, there is no number there. So to help myself, I can place a zero here to, to help me see how the decimal point moves. It moves here, this would be 32.0. It moves here, and it becomes 320. And there's another way to see this too, or another way to think about it, which is that if this number was only 3 instead of 3.2, then you, ha you would have 100 times 3 equals 300. In other words, this 3 here becomes 300, and then the next digit just follows. The 2 comes after 300, so it becomes 2 tenths. Over here, 1000 times 0 0.69. Again, when my decimal point starts moving, I can add some extra zeros here to help me move it, okay? It would go here, one, two, and three, over here. So six, nine, zero, okay? 690. Now, I want to explain why this works that way. What's that, Matthew? Tickling me. Matthew tells you, pay attention now. This is important. Yes, it is. My problem is 100 times 2.38. And I wrote my number 2.38 in this place value table. Here's hundredths place, tenths place, ones place, the point, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. And now what happens is when we multiply by hundred, I can think of each place value unit separately. What happens to two when I multiply it by hundred? It becomes 200, right? So I would have to put two here in the hundreds column, hundredths place. What happens to tenths? Three tenths when you multiply that by 100. Well, maybe you don't know, but maybe you can think about one tenth only, okay? One tenth times 100. You see, every time you multiply something by 10, it moves over here, one step here. So one tenth or three tenths, either way, three tenths by 10 would make it here, and by 100 would make it here, two steps. And then eight goes here, as you can guess. Okay, so essentially this number moved in the place value table two steps to the left. And um, the shortcut as far as the decimal point, you know, I move my decimal point two steps to the right and um, it becomes 238. Those are the same thing. The shortcut of moves moving the decimal point comes from the fact that the number moves in the place value table two steps to the left, okay? It just appears as if the decimal point moved, but in reality the decimal point doesn't move, the number itself moves, okay? If that makes sense. Another example, let's divide this number by 10. Let's start first here with 3 tens, 30. What's 30 divided by 10? It's 3, right? And what would be 5? Five? 5 divided by 10? would be 
one half, right? Or five tenths. So it goes here, and then the eight must go there, right? Okay, 3.58. And the shortcut, if you don't have a place value table, when you're dividing by 10, is that you move your decimal point just the opposite way, so that the number becomes smaller, you move it here, 3.58, okay? Or if you have a number you divide it by 1,000, you move the decimal point three steps to the left, so that it becomes smaller, right? That, like that. But I can do it here in the place value table too. This is my number. If I want to divide it by 1,000, it means it moves three steps towards the smaller. So this 3 would move over here. Then 5, and then 8 would go to the 10,000th place, okay? Then there would be 0 here, and point, and 0. All right. Now let's go on, do a few more problems. 100 times 2.389. Okay, I can think of it in two ways. Because it is two point, it's easy. I could think that 100 times 2, 100 times 2 is 200. So if I put 2 in the hundreds place, then all the other digits follow like that. Okay? Or you can think of moving a decimal point here, two steps, right there. 1,000 times 56 hundredths. I'll move the decimal point three steps here and here and one more. I have to put a zero there. Okay. It would go 560. Or divisions. 726.5 divided by 10. Let's move the decimal point one step backwards so that the number becomes smaller. Okay. 72.65. 6.4 divided by 100. Move my decimal point again backwards here, two steps. And for that, I will again put a zero here to help me move it, okay? Or zeros. Two steps here, here. There it goes. 0 